All right, today I'm making chivapcici, which are Croatian little sausages. So in my mixing bowl, I already pre-minced eight cloves of garlic. Uh, my recipe calls for six, but we like garlic and these were large, so we put in eight. And in your mixing bowl, you're gonna add six tablespoons of water. You're going to add one tablespoon of baking soda. The baking soda helps keep, keep it nice and plump. You're going to add four teaspoons of paprika. That's one tablespoon plus one teaspoon, it equals four. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of black pepper. And then one tablespoon of salt. The salt can be to taste. Um, after you mix all your meat together, you can um, fry up a little piece of it and taste it and see if that's enough salt for you. So I went to my local butcher and I had him grind up for me and mix it. Uh, one pound of pork and uh, three pounds of beef. You can have it separate and you'll just mix it in your bowl. So this is going to be four pounds of ground meat. Some chivapa have lamb. My husband doesn't like lamb. So what you want to do is you want to mix this very well. And as you're mixing it, make sure you get everything off the bottom of the bowl incorporated into it. I made earlier some lepinha bread to go with the chavape. I will post the video on how to make that in a few days. All right, so I have it all nice and mixed up. Make sure it's very well mixed because you want every bit of flavor and every bit of bite you taste. So I'm gonna let this sit in a refrigerator covered with some plastic for maybe 30 minutes. I kind of want to let those uh, flavors blend. You can do it for longer. You can make it the night before and uh, form your little sausages. You can make it and you can freeze your little sausages after they're formed and pull them out of the freezer and grill them when you need All right, them. so it's been sitting in my fridge for about 40 minutes uh, with your hands. Take a little bit and you want to make a little sausage. Just run it through your hands. Like that. You don't want to make them too, too fat in the middle either though. Um, some people have a um, sausage maker that can fill sausages for like their KitchenAid attachment. That is the one attachment I do not have. So you'll take your meat and you'll make these little sausages. All right, so I've rolled the chavape. I, out of four pounds of meat, um, I said the wrong uh, meat type when I was mixing it. It's three pounds of pork and one pound of beef. Um, I made 61 chavape. My grill is heating up and I will walk it out to the grill and I'll show you how to grill them off on your barbecue. All right, so we got our grill nice and hot. We're gonna take a greased paper towel and we're going to grease down the grates to put our chivape on. Nice and hot. And we're gonna lay our chivape. You do not want to crowd them. You do want to give them space in between. And you want to fill up your grill with as many as you can. You might have, we have a small grill, so it might have to be cooked in two batches. But the main point is you definitely do not want to overcrowd them. If you don't have a grill, you can do it in a skillet on your stove or a little griddle pan if you have it. Don't think you have to barbecue them outside. 
All right, so you want to start flipping your chavape. By the time you got, you get um, the one side filled, it is time to start flipping the other side. If this is your first time doing chavape and you're not uh, really a avid griller, I would suggest you put not so many on a grill um, so you can maintain them and not burn them and flip them a few at a time. But my husband is a chef, so he likes to fill the grill up. All right, your chavape are done when they're nice and golden brown. Just take them off the grill, put them in a pot, cover them up as you're taking them off if some are not cooked to keep them warm.